Hello, I'm Dr. Ewan Gillier, I'm the Technical Manager at Eclipse Magnetics. I'm here today to talk to you about the Electromagnets range. We have two styles, the Energized to Hold and the Energized to Release. The Electromagnets are basically copper coils with steel work. Copper coils, example here, wound around a bobbin and you pass a electrical current for it, usually a DC current, so you have a DC magnetic field going through. The simplest electromagnets are solenoids uh, and can be uh, coreless, so just literally coil wound around a former or bobbin, a bit like this, and it passes a DC current through and the magnetic field comes actually down the central hole. You can then have iron cord versions where you have a ferritic part, mild steel or even magnetic stainless or iron down the middle and that actually amplifies the magnetic field because ferromagnetic materials conduct magnetism much better than air does. Following from the wound coils to create an electromagnet, you have a little demonstration version here, two electromagnet coils and we passing a DC current through it, place it onto the mild steel plate, it clamps the magnetic fields, pass through this coil, through the steelwork, and back around through here to complete the magnetic circuit. The electromagnets basically follow this principle of having a coil wound inside the electromagnet and mild steel housing surrounding it. All the magnetism is on the clamping face. Usually it's north pole in the middle and south pole around the outside. Although it can be swapped around simply by changing the current direction. And as an example, here we have a 24 volt electromagnet. And we have a mild steel part. As you can see, very strong hold. The electromagnet range we offer varies from 20 diameter up to 100 millimeters in diameter with pull forces varying from 5.2 kilos all the way up to 360 kilo pull. Uh, to give you an idea of the power of these electromagnets in terms of a direct pull and the pressure from them it's up to 63 psi on the surface for the 100 millimeter diameter units. If you compare that to a tire, car tires around about 35 to 40 psi typically. So very, very high performance. The thing you need to be mindful of with the electromagnet range is air gaps. Because the magnetism is all on the clamping face, any air gap at all quickly reduces the pull force. So even a 0.1 millimeter air gap sees a big reduction in pull. So electromagnets are ideal for direct contact applications. On our electromagnet range, we offer armature plates that are designed specifically to go with these electromagnets. And our pull force ratings are based on the electromagnets working against our armature plates. With this electromagnet, a 24 volt version, we put the polarity indicator north in the middle, now if you move to the outside, you have the south. So all the clamping surface is on the one face. The electromagnets have duty cycles, anything up to 100%. So in theory, you could operate this all the time, constantly. You have to bear in mind when you do so, because it has a coil in there and has a current, you have an I squared R power loss, and that ultimately becomes heat. The smaller electromagnets generally get hotter because they have less surface area for doing cooling. The larger electromagnets, by being much bigger, a larger surface area, they cool better. So in your applications, you need to be mindful of how these units will heat up. Typically, the smallest units will get up to maybe 60 to 70 degrees C, about the temperature of a cup of tea or coffee. But in your application, if you have cooling, say other steelwork behind it to help cool, the units will run less hot and also if your duty cycle is less 
it's on for less time, so it actually runs cooler. So your application will determine the temperature that these units will operate at. In terms of the pull, you use to demonstrate this version. Very strong pull forces from these units. From uh, electromagnet range 20 millimeter diameter up to 100 millimeter diameter, we go from 5.2 kilo pull all the way up to 360 kilo pull, and that's based on use with our armature plates, which are designed specifically to go with the electromagnets. In terms of turning off, these electromagnets may have a degree of residual magnetization with them, so they may sometimes be less prone to releasing immediately, but generally if the pieces are heavy enough, that's not a problem. If that does become a problem, we recommend our ESPM versions where we can switch these on and off and these will eliminate residual magnetization. The alternative range of electromagnets are our energized to release. Here I will demonstrate the energized to release electro-permanent magnet with the permanent magnet in the middle and no current through the coil. Take it to the mild steel part not to clamp onto. Holds really firmly. I now pass the current through. The current now gives a change in the magnetic pathways on the inside and that causes the unit to release because there's no more magnetism on the interface. Here I will demonstrate the electro holding magnets or the energized to hold electro magnets. When there's no current going through it, magnetically dead. When I put current through and onto the surface, you can see it clamps really, really well. Turn the current off, it releases again. So this only holds while you have a current passing through it. And it's got to be a DC current. Our energised to hold and energised to release electromagnets are designed for use with our armature plates and the pull forces are given with those armature plates in use. You may wish to use other steelwork for your application, but bear in mind a few rules. If your steelwork is rusty and or very thin, you will get a reduced pull force. So although it holds, it's very easy to pull it apart. If there's not enough overlap, between the steelwork and your electromagnet, you will get reduced pull force as well. If you have any air gaps in the way, be it actual air gaps or physical air gaps such as non-magnetic materials, the pull forces are also greatly reduced. So for maximum performance, we recommend thick, mild steel to go with each electromagnet. As a good guide, Look at our armature plate thicknesses recommended for each unit and work as that as a minimum thickness to you.